What's going on, guys? My name is Jay, active duty Green Beret, slowly working my way towards retirement. If this is your first time watching me, like and subscribe to the channel. My intent is to get this information out to as many future and current soft operators as possible, all right? So you um, hitting that thumbs up and you subscribe will help me achieve that goal. I appreciate it. If you're serious about going to selection, check out the Patreon link down below, all right? So you can have access to the prep courses that I'm putting together. That's going to help give you the information that you need so you can pretend and cross selection, all right? With that said, guys, let's get into it, all right? Today, I want to do something different. I've spoken to several different guys within the last three weeks that are worried about going to selection and becoming a roadkill, all right? I also spoken to several other dudes that went to selection in October and I came back, they didn't get selected because they got roadkill, all right? To be quite frank, I'm tired of hearing about that, all right? So today, I've put together a slideshow and I'm gonna go over some of the do's and don'ts um, as it relates to land navigation and how to deal with the roads, right? Let's go over them. Guys, we're gonna start off with these five truths right here, right? These are facts coming right out of selection, right? A road is any terrain that is transversible by a four-wheel drive vehicle, right? Meaning a four-wheel, right? You'll see Kadja use the four-wheelers to go back and forth on those trails. Those are considered roads. Do not, say again, do not cross them or get within 50 meters of them. You will not walk down any road for whatever reason, don't walk down any roads. If you do so, you're gonna get caught and you'll become a roadkill and your selection dreams will be over. Guys, do not walk within 50 meters of any roads, right? A lot of guys that are beginners at Lane Nav like to handrail uh, the actual trail to get to a certain point on the map, right? In doing so, especially at night, you tend to lose your bearing and you'll get within 50 meters, right? Especially when the road curves and the cadres, they know exactly where the road curves and where candidates tend to make a lot of mistakes, right? So they're gonna park their vehicle there and they're gonna wait for you and, and you'll become a road kill then, right? To eliminate that as a whole, guys, just stay away from the roads, all right? Um, the next one is you will, you will cross all roads at a 90 degree angle, right? Meaning if you're handrailing the road and you're 50 meters away, you're gonna stop, right? Turn and face the road, right? And then cross at a 90, not a 45, not a 35, not a 65, but a 90 degree angle, all right? Um, last but not least, guys, you will not have your map out within 50 meters off the road, all right? If you do, you'll become a roadkill then, all right? Now, guys, we're gonna go into how to cross obstacles and also how to cross intersection. All right, let's go over how to properly navigate this obstacle right here, right? So you have a creek or a river of some sort, and on top of that, you have the road, right? And in red is the incorrect way to cross this obstacle, right? So what's, what this is depicting is a 45 degree approach going right across the road, all right? The proper way to do this is to uh, make sure you're 50 meters out, right, from the actual road, you're hand rallying it, right? Get to a point where you turn and execute a 90 degree bearing, right? And then cross this road at a 90 degree uh, azimuth. And then once you get there, again, pick up another 90 degrees and then cross the actual river, right? At no point in time should you have entered this road at a 45, all right? That's gonna cause you to become a road kill. Let's move on to the next one. This four-way intersection, guys, in green is the right way to cross this four-way intersection, all right? This is approaching at a 45 degrees, all right? And this is um, you going across the entire intersection, right? So you're bisecting the intersection, all right? You're gonna enter at the 45 and just walk straight through and exit at the 45. All right, this is the wrong way to cross this four-way intersection, all right? This guy is pretty much walking down the road and then exiting at the 45. This is the improper way to cross this four-way intersection. This here is the correct way to enter the intersection and exit on the other side without going straight across, all right? And red is the incorrect way to enter uh, this four-way intersection and exit it on the other side, all right? Guys, this stuff is self-explanatory, all right? Um, just keep in mind, you bisect all your intersections, all right? And you cross all roads at a 90 degree, 
you do all these guys, I promise you, you will have no issues at selection, right? Again, golden moves. Stay 50 meters away from all roads, cross all roads at 90 degrees, and bisect the intersection, all right? When in doubt, just stay away from the roads, all right? Guys, I hope these couple of slides were helpful. Again, I put this together because I, I'm tired of hearing good guys you know, go to selection and become roadkill because they don't know how to properly navigate these roads, right? Guys, cross at a 90 degrees and bisect intersection. If you're not sure, just don't come across that road or don't come too close to that road, right? Find another way to get to your point, right? Guys, I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions about this, reach out to me and I'll do my best to answer your questions, all right? I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next week.